This is a tutorial to show you how to set up folders in Dropbox and add files and documents to them that you can go and sync with your Goodreader app on your iPad. And the great thing about Goodreader is that you can read documents and annotate them while you're offline. And then if you set up a sync with Dropbox, you can sync all of your files and save them to your Dropbox and save all of the annotations that you've made. This setup might be particularly good for you if you decide you want to create a folder in your Dropbox for each of your classes and add all of your class readings and documents and PowerPoints to that folder and then sync with your Goodreader so you could read it when you're on the bus and take notes or just on your way to class and then sync later when you get back to a Wi-Fi connection. So the first step is to grab some articles that you can put into a folder in your Dropbox. So let's go to the University Library's website www.lib.umn.edu and just search for some articles. Then you can put them in a Dropbox folder. So I'm going to search for something I'm interested in and the library website will ask you to authenticate with your University of Minnesota X500 ID and password. This is just to make sure that you have copyright permissions to use the library resources so you do have to sign in every time you're looking for an article usually. Click login and you'll get a set of articles that match your search. Go find one that looks interesting and then you'll want to add it to a folder in your Dropbox. The best way to do this is to get a PDF version of the article and you can do that by clicking this Minnesota Find It button here and it will show you all the places that you can find the article and you'll want the full text online. And then depending on the type of resource you're looking at, this page might look a little different, but somewhere on the page for the article you should see the title, uh, the journal that it came from, and a link that says download PDF somewhere. So you'll want to click on that link to download the PDF, and that's what you can put into your Dropbox folder. When you click to download the PDF, it'll open in a new window in your Safari browser. It's in your Safari app on your iPad. But to get it off of the Safari app and into Dropbox, you want to click Open In and choose Dropbox. After you click Dropbox, the Dropbox app will open up automatically on your iPad and it will ask you to choose a destination where you want to put the file. And here's where you'll be able to create a new folder to help organize the document. So click Create Folder and type a name for the folder where you want to put the document. I'll call it Aardvark Dropbox Sync so that it will remind me that I want to sync this folder with, drop, uh, with the Goodreader. And then you want to click Create. And that created the folder, but it still didn't put the article into the folder itself. So you'll want to choose and click on the folder itself. And you'll see that there are currently no articles in this new folder. That makes sense because you just created it. But that's where you want the article to go, so click Upload. And you'll see that the article is now uploading to that folder in your Dropbox account. And when this blue bar reaches all the way across, you'll know that it's done. And you'll also see that the article has a pretty ugly file name. That's because when you take articles off the library website, the file names usually look pretty ugly. Fortunately, we can change that in Goodreader later on, so we'll talk about that in a bit. Now, in order to check that this file actually uploaded correctly, you can go click on Dropbox here in the corner, and you'll see that this is your new folder that you created, and click on the folder itself, and you'll see that the article is actually in the folder. So that looks great. And you can go ahead and do the same procedure to add more files to that same folder that you just created. And then after that, it's time to go over to Goodreader and sync the folder into Goodreader. So now go and open up the Goodreader app. And here is my Goodreader app. This is a folder that I created in an earlier tutorial, tutorial, so we'll ignore that for now. And set up a new sync. To set up a sync in Goodreader, you first need to connect to your Dropbox folder and your Dropbox is located on a server, so you'll choose Connect to Servers and Add a Server, and then that's where you'll be able to look for Dropbox. And this is just showing the Goodreader app how to connect to your entire Dropbox account, and then later on you'll be able to select which specific folders you want to sync 
and download locally to your iPad so you can look at them offline. But go ahead and click on Dropbox here. And enter some kind of title just so you know which account you're looking at, that it's your Dropbox account and it's the one you want to sync. And your username. It's your full email address that you used when you signed up for your Dropbox account and the password that you used when you signed up for your Dropbox account. So I'm just going to call this my iPad e Dropbox and my username and password that I used. And click Add. And now you'll see that GoodReader recognizes your Dropbox and that it's connected to this server right here. This is just a connection that you've set up, but it isn't actually syncing any of your fi um, files or folders specifically. So in order to do that, click on the, your Dropbox and then choose the folder that you just created that you want to sync to your GoodReader account. Click on that and it should be highlighted in green and then click on sync down at the bottom. And then a dialog box will pop up telling you that you're about to create a sync and explaining how you can go out syncing this again manually in the future. Click proceed. And then GoodReader prompts you to tell it where you want to put this synced folder so that you can find it again in the future. And I just want it to stay in my main My Documents page so I see it right when I open up GoodReader every time. So I'll just leave everything the way it is. And again, this is my old folder from an earlier tutorial, so we're ignoring that and creating a new one. And this will show up in my My Documents folder. So I just needed this new sync, and so I just need to click Download here and Synchronize. And now you'll see that GoodReader has created a folder with this little green arrow button indicating that it will be a synced folder. And it will give you some sync parameters to look at. So if I look at my sync parameters here, it's basically just telling me that I'm syncing my documents off of a Dropbox account and that it's my specific Dropbox account. I gave it this name just for GoodReader so that I recognize it. And the folder that it's syncing is called Ardvark Dropbox Sync. That's the name that I gave it in Dropbox, the folder that I'm looking at. And locally it will have the same name. So on my GoodReader um, local storage, it will have that same name. I am going to turn off the download only sync. That's because the download only sync is basically just a one-time, one-way sync procedure. And instead, I want my sync to be more of a two-way street. So every time I change a file or folder on my GoodReader account, when I sync it with my Wi-Fi connection to my Dropbox, I want it to change the files and save all my changes into my Dropbox account. So I'm going to keep the download-only sync turned off. And then this next section tells me what will happen if I go and delete a folder in my GoodReader app and then what it will do with the files in my Dropbox account. So I'm going to leave both of these options as they are, and this is just saying if one day I decide to go and delete this Ardvark Dropbox Inc. folder, um, it will go ahead and delete all of the documents locally on my GoodReader, but it won't delete the files off of my Dropbox account. It will leave them alone. So if I delete this by accident, for example, then it will still be on my Dropbox account but it just will disappear from my GoodReader. I could go resync it again. So this is just something to keep basically as is. It's just a safety mechanism. Just leave it as it is. And then go ahead and click Sync. And you'll see that GoodReader starts to sync all the files that you had in the Dropbox folder onto your GoodReader app, and it will be stored locally on your iPad. And depending on how many files you have in the, the, Good, or in the Dropbox folder, this might take a little longer, so just be patient and hopefully you have a pretty fast Wi-Fi connection or this could take a while. But once the blue bar hits the end, you'll see that it's done. So right now there are actually no files synced, but when the sync is finished, you'll see that I had three files in that folder and all of them are now synced. And just to be sure that everything finished correctly, I'll click on this folder right here and it looks like all of the files it in safely. So if you set up a sync like this, everything is now saved locally onto your iPad and you can make changes and annotations and notes and things even when you're offline. 
So let's say you're riding the bus in the morning and you take a bunch of notes. Uh, once you get onto campus and you get to a Wi-Fi connection, you'll want to save all of your notes and annotations back and resync so that it's saved to your Dropbox account and just keep it all safe. So to resync, you need to go to this web download section and you'll see that the sync that you set up is listed here and it has this little green arrow button that you can choose and when you click that, that just tells Goodreader please resync all the files and make all the changes and save them to my Dropbox account. So click the sync button, you'll see that it's syncing again and once it's finished all of your annotations and notes should be saved. This is also what you'll want to do if you add more files to your Dropbox folder for some reason and then you want to go and sync it and have it go back to your iPad, you just need to click this sync button and the files will pop up from your folder again. So that's how to sync Goodreader with Dropbox. Good luck.